beginning of Whole Foods. Hello friends, I am showing you guys a tour of Whole Foods. So at the very entrance, they've got like their nice pumpkins, a good display, firewood. They have some seating areas over there, more little pumpkins. And then as soon as you enter, you've got um, you've got containers, you got apple cider, pumpkins, and then the fall fruits. Yeah, apples. Uh -huh, pretty. We got weekly flyers. We got fresh flowers. Now let's see. I'm trying to compare Whole Foods with Trader Joe's and what um, Whole Foods has to offer compared to Trader Joe's. They got flowers ranging from eight, um, seven dollars. They're eight, ten, twelve, twenty, um, six dollars. So it seems like the least expensive one is right here, five dollars, and five dollars just gives you um, greens. And then you have the $7 hydrangea and $6 box. You guys know how much I love my fruits and my greens. So they do have a nice blend of greens, colors. And look at this display. Heirloom tomatoes. Lots of other tomatoes. Um, got roots, leafy greens, leeks. I like how they have their, their signs. Very uh, farmhouse chic. Yeah, some grapes, magazines. Mm -hmm. Reliance grapes. Oh, lots of grapes. Pomegranates. A lot more fruits, a lot more to offer than the Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's seems to be just a bit more like smaller feel to it. Oh, look at this. Tomatoes, Danica. Pre-done pre salads, uh, guacamole, salsas. Those are nice. Mallet, salad mix. And then you got your veggies, onions, potatoes, right there. That liquor aisle. We have Danica showing us a tour. So then they have the nuts section. Um, you can open it up and buy it um, per pound. Um, $12.99 a pound for pistachios, shelled nuts. Pre-shelled. This one seems like it's like trail mixes. And over here you got some candies, and bears, fruit slices, worms. And then here's like the peanuts and roasted peanut, macadamia nuts, organ hazelnuts, organ hazelnuts. So you got those. You got candied walnuts here, raw walnuts, candied pecans, pecan halves, whole almonds. Up there you got like the rice grains. Over here you've got the beans. Okay baby, I'll open it. You got like um, lima beans, navy beans, split peas, chickpeas, pinto beans. And then over here you got oats. And then this one, this one's a vegetable chips. Yeah, pastas over here you got a little cheese section you've got the um, parmigiano reggiano italian and they have is this the real one or it's just plastic this is the container you got some cheeses here and this is just plastic you got wine mm, wines or hard liquor i think these these are mixed you got a cheese section here and then over here is a specialty department, more cheese. Nice cheese. Here you got the fish um, department. So you've got um, smoked, smoked fish here. You got your crabs, you got your shrimp. You got more fish department. There's people to help you with the fresh ones. Basically, Whole Foods just like your grocery store and meats over here and that sausage mm. all meat so I'm just looking at a section here um, and these are the jellies and the peanut butters moving this along and if I compare it to a regular um, regular grocery store I know that my grocery store would have the brand of the Jif 
as well as the Adams, but there's also the Skippy brand, and I don't see that here at Whole Foods. So I do see the Adams, which my grocery store carries. I know Target carries this one, but other than that, there's a lot of different brands in here that's either just um, Whole Foods brand, 365 every day, is that a Whole Foods brand? Again, I'm not sure. Maybe that's just a Whole Foods brand. I don't shop at Whole Foods. So maybe this is just their their house brand. But there's also the um, the ones that you don't finally um, you don't normally the ones that you don't normally find at the grocery stores like Wild Friends chocolate coconut peanut butter. That sounds actually really good. And then you got the jellies and you got um, I know Oregon Growers, my grocery store has that. That's somewhat like a local brand. And I see a lot of the 365 not so I've seen that one in health stores so it's nice that they carry that and this is just you know comparison of like the peanut butter and the jelly um, aisle I do like it it's like I'm, I'm going through the aisles and I, I am liking it so I'm surprised that I have not visited Whole Foods in the past two years that I've been here I mean I've been here once one time and it was like a quick 15 minute visit to see what they had at the bakery section because um, my friend and I were buying something um, looking for a cake I do like their items um, uh, from the looks of it it seems like it's something that I would buy my family and it doesn't seem like it's that higher of a price I mean avocado vinaigrette $3.99 big balsamic and it's items that my grocery store doesn't normally carry. Okay, you got dressings over here. Um, pastas, oats, cereals. And again, their cereal, um, again, if I compare their cereal to a regular grocery store, the ones that I only get for my home is Cheerios or Rice Krispies treats. That's the only cereal that I'll have or eat. And most of the cereals I see are healthy like uh, at least somewhat healthy cereals you've got your nature's path organic and they're more of the the flakes with the the berries or the with the grains or the oats i don't see a lot of sugary sugary cereals which is really nice all right and i especially want to compare like meats um let's see this is ground beef 7.99 and 93 percent lean is it organic um, it's not organic and it's already $7.99 like I said I buy mine at um, Costco and it's organic for three pack I think it's $19.99 so that's almost like a little bit over five dollars um, per per package and it is organic from Costco this one is $6.39 pork boneless stew and it is about what 0 0.80 pounds so less than a pound a bit pricey yeah a bit pricey let's go look for the chickens I like um, getting my my chickens at Costco or the commissary now let's just compare it with theirs I think 319 is a good price for that 867 for that the boneless um, but I think it's the same price as my regular grocery store if I compare it to that this is their Java coffee section. You got the different rows. Yeah, French organic, volcano or Volcan mine blend, extra dark French. You got your Vavoom blend, Mocha Java. Mm, I'd like to try that one. Organic Mexico. I've been wanting to try an, um, a Mexico uh, type coffee, Espresso Sierra. So how much are they? Eleven ninety nine a pound. So you open this up. Mm, smells smells the coffee it smells really good and then they have a grinder you basically just grind it put it in a bag I like how they sell the the hydro flask in here these are cute little hydro flasks that I've been looking for for um, Danny and how much are these $27.99 here's more hydro flask if you guys are not aware of hydro flask hydro flask is the like the ultimate uh, thermos so it holds your your hot or your cold liquid for I believe it was what 24 hours 24 hours 12 ounce and does it say I have a couple of hydro flasks 24 hours cold and six hours hot okay 
So 24 hours cold, six hours hot, but it's nice that they have the different sizes. Now they carry these, which is just for the, like a, like a mug, nice. I have um, a white one of this from Wow Wow Lemonade. It's really nice. I wanted to go specifically for the teas as well. I wanted to see what what um, tea they offer. So I like Sleepy Time over at my grocery store. The Sleepy Time I get, I also get the the Celestial Country Peach Passion. I do like that. I like Sleepy Time. Um, I think there's like a sampler that I always get as far as Sleepy Time. So their price is on sale for $3. I believe that's the same price as a grocery store. And here's some other teas. The This brand I've seen as well. They also have the Republic of Tea here. So then I don't have to order it online. I know that with, with Republic of Tea, I do like the... Um, they don't have it. I have this at home. And I do like their like um, the cup of chocolate blend and they don't they don't normally carry that at the store I always have to get that one online but yeah they at least offer um, Republic of tea coffees and Tazo if you guys know Tazo is the brand that they use over at Starbucks uh, for their passion um, when you order the passion um, iced tea I believe they still use the Tazo brand and then also with Whole Foods they are known for like pre-packaged meals already um, $6.99 for this, easy to go if you're in a hurry to grab for lunch or dinner. So they have a nice variety. That's me! <laughs> okay, and then they also have hot meals. So all these people are getting hot meals to go. I've heard that Whole Foods is really good with that. Um, they have good, good choices and um, very tasty food. I know, they got cake, so they got their hot meals. Um, it tastes loaded tater tots, really nice. Ooh, halua pork and cabbage. I'd like to taste that. Inside they have Indian, they have coconut rice, they have butter chicken, potato samosa, they have Punjabi, also Indian. Comfort food, they have macaroni and cheese, barbecue chicken, corn, adobo potato. Basically it's the same, so it's $8.99 per pound. So this is the cold section, which is the salad. Anything cold here, those are the hot section. And then you just basically fill up your container and then they measure it per pound. And it's $8.99 per pound and you can just fill it as much as you like. Then they also have a pizza oven. Danica, look, pizza. You like it. Okay, you wanna see how they make pizza? So they got different pizzas. And there's the pizza oven. $3.50 for a slice or two for six. Perfect. We got breads. Oh, let's go look at cakes. Danica's been waiting to look at cakes. They've got pastries, rolls, and bagels. Cake. Look at the size of that. A cake. Mm -hmm. and a tree. Oh, Jonathan would love that. They got chocolate croissant. They got scones. All right. So this was the only section I went to. I went from the door straight here. The first time I ever visited. Um, this location. I have been to other Whole Foods over in California. This one is only like five minutes, five to ten minutes away from me. Uh, and they're so nice because they're gonna give her a sample so I can talk to you guys. But um, already, so let's go start here. These are the self-serve treats. Thank you. Oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> Look at that. What is that? A flower. Okay, you go ahead and eat it. That was nice of him to give you a sample. Yeah. That was really nice. I thought it was just a little, like, little piece. Alright, so over here they got coconut macarons. Is it Palmyra? They've got monster cookie up there. Very pretty cookies, I have to say. Very pretty. Oatmeal raisin, ginger twinkle. Sporting the Seahawks. More cookies. And then over here is the box um, treats. So right here is a ginger cream cheese cookie sandwich. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Peanut butter and chocolate cookie sandwich. And then they've got the macarons. And actually the prices of the macarons are really good. We got a birthday cake for $1.99 each. Vanilla macaron, strawberry champagne macaron, pistachio macaron, chocolate macaron, raspberry macaron. You got that, you got your little oversized cupcake. 
chocolate peanut butter, berry chantilly cake. Oh, that sounds really good. You got large chocolate cakes over here, PB and J cake, chocolate mousse. Pumpkin caramel cake, small vegan chocolate mousse cake, small berry, is it frangipan, frangipane tart, I've, I've heard of that from Martha, Martha, um, I watch Martha's baking channel, okay, New York classic cheesecake, you've got the dark chocolate cake bar, those are really popular now, these um, cake bars, it's just like um, cake pops, but much bigger. And then you got the, what is that, Nanaimo bar? Hmm, wonder what that is. Espresso mousse cup. All right, so over here, we got vegan chocolate cupcake, vegan chocolate chip cookie sandwich, brownie bites, chocolate butter fudge bites, canel, is that canel? Salted caramel ganache cup, lemon cheesecake bite, oh my goodness. Mini ginger cream cookie sandwich, those are good. Look at this one, espresso cup. You got the fruit tart, you got the big fruit tart, you got the frangipan tart, I hope I'm saying that right. Large apple frangipan tart. <gasps> Look at this carrot cake. $24.99 for that carrot cake, that's a pretty good price. Large tiramisu for $29.99 and lemon poppy cake. That looks so pretty. Okay friends, they all look pretty. Okay. I like their signs, organic baguette, you got macarons, you got the sweet petites, six for $7.99 of, which one is that, the little, these ones, is that what they're putting up there? But the macarons itself, because I make macarons and I know how expensive macarons are, these are really good. Maybe I'm going to buy one and try one out just to compare. Just to compare, you know. I bought, because I make macarons, so I bought the champagne. I think it's strawberry champagne and the raspberry just to try out. And just how I, I can learn and make my stuff better. They have little mini cakes. I think these are the best, especially for a small family or a couple that doesn't necessarily need a big slice of cake. Forestberry, apple, marionberry is my favorite, and they got cherry self-serve mochi ice cream so that's a dollar fifty each or 16 for a dozen so they have um, pistachio red bean they have caramel um, double chocolate this one is peach this one is green tea this one is um, Kona coffee this one is um, mint chocolate chip mango and I think this one is vanilla oh, yeah and they're a nice size too for a dollar fifty Okay, so then we got your baked goods over here. What is this one? Authentic French um, brioche. Is that brioche? Brioche. How you have They got the little bread sections over here. Loaves, um, crumb, like a crumb cake. Okay. They have iced chai, cold brew, original, cold brew coffee blend, semi sweet, toasted coconut almond milk. A good. Um, selection ready to drink cold drinks they also have a nice selection of ice cream and the nice thing about it is that they're smaller in sizes but they are pretty pricey so this one's six dollars 29 cents for just a little pint um, 5.99 for a pint but they have a lot of selection of brands um, I know that you target carries this and but a lot of the stuff that you see are not like um, commercial, um, commercial brand like um, the Nestle or such. But they do have a good selection of ice cream, more local, more more smaller companies. And then you got your frozen um, berries in there. So they have um, the again the 365. I really think that's their home brand. And um, they have an Alden's organic ice cream. It's $6.99 for that. And that one is um, one and a half quarts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that pretty much sums up um, Whole Foods. I've showed you guys um, most of the, the stuff that they have. And over here is they have cookies by the pound. And they're very pretty. So they have the black and white cookies, donut cookies, they have orange icebox sandwich cookies, 
birthday chocolate mint and let's see over here they have the um, the Madelines is it the Rublock and other like black and white yeah, and then you got the cash registers over here so then that's it friends that's that's Whole Foods they have their regular aisles that I didn't take you guys to the all the aisles but they have like everything that you know the grocery store would offer cleaners pet foods home goods baby needs paper products yeah, they have little gift section over here over here one of the end caps they have more soap I believe it's the Pacha soap company and it smells it smells really good so this one's dirty hippie Jasmine gardenia. This is petal to the metal. Oh, it really smells good. And um, Pacha Nada, unscented. Yep, that one's unscented, all right. Then they've got um, bath bombs. Sea salt. This one is um, spa soap with nourishing kelp powder. And then this one is, I think, peppermint. Yeah, peppermint. And this is the birch mussel soak. I think that's it, baby. All right, friends. I think that's it. We showed you guys everything that Whole Foods has to offer. I like it. I don't mind coming back again. It is a lot bigger and offers more items than my, my Trader Joe's and all the other Trader Joe's I've been to. But it also offers a lot more than my... Um, grocery store offers as well. I like it and I'm, I'm sure that I'll be back soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of Whole Foods. As always, thank you guys for watching A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo!